Good afternoon, everybody. It's your old pal, Cappy, and it's a weekend, and that means it's time for another drink review. Um, we got Mountain Dew Kickstart. I mean, Amp. I mean, oh, no, it's Cat Mountain Dew Rise, because Mountain Dew has tried so many times to get their foot in the energy drink game, and it's not been all that successful. I mean, I don't know. Say what you want about, you know, Kickstart and Amp, but nobody wanted those things. I hated every single flavor of Kickstart. You can read the blog. I There was none that I was like, oh boy, Mountain Dew Kickstart, can't wait to drink one of these. And that's all they sell at, like, certain vending machines, anyway. If you're a Coke, like, if you have a Coke, you know, vending machine, then you're not going to get Mountain Dew Kickstart, thankfully. You'll get Monster or Nas. So, th in that regard, Coke wins. But the Pepsi ones, they only have Kickstart and Amp. And neither of them were that great. They're not bad, but they're not great. So now we have Rise in the mix. And why is Rise any different? It's it's really not. It's um, <laughs> it's got a new can of paint, and the logo is the well, not the logo, but the art on the can is pretty cool. Like look at that polygon looking lion thing. Now I originally thought this was like geared towards gamers and stuff, but I don't think it is. I think it's just, you know, coincidentally, it looks like a polygon lion, and it's just kind of neat looking. Got a silver look, and it says Rise, which, you know, that's a character in the popular video game League of Legends, except it's spelled differently. It's uh, more Mountain Dew energy, so what makes you so special, oh, Mountain Dew Rise? Equivalent to two cups of coffee, and that's a very popular marketing trend these days. 5% juice, so it's kickstart again. That was their mantra as well. Oh, it's juice, so you could drink it in the morning instead of coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, zero grams of added sugar, so now they're trying to rip off adrenaline shock and uh, bang. Zinc, that's sort of new, I guess. I mean, that's kind of... Not everything adds zinc, so that that I'll give you that one, Mountain Dew. And vitamins A and C antioxidants, which is what everything is doing so it's trying to do not only is it trying to get in the energy drink game it's trying to get into the zero sugar energy drink game and is that really the way of the future is it really like do, do people want zero sugar because half the time it just tastes terrible um we got immune support with a one and mental boost with a two <laughs> and that is down here you can see it it says uh Zinc helps support immune functions, so that's that's kind of nice, yeah, cool. Um, and number two says, Citrulline and caffeine in combination have been shown to improve m attention. Um, all right, so they're going they're going with that um, you know these supplement drink energy drink ones. Now Mountain Dew has a long period of being you know the king of energy. Get you need a kick, drink some Mountain Dew. I mean that's what all the old people say. When I buy Mountain Dew at work, all the uh, older people are like, oh, Mountain Dew, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> and I give them that, like, James Harden running away face when, when they uh, do that. Uh, Mountain Dew, I mean, it's just caffeine. And caffeine, you know, once you drink so much of it, like I do, um, I just like the flavor of Mountain Dew. So why are their energy drinks always so bad? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Let's take a look at the nutrition facts and ingredients. We got 5% juice, which we saw that. Serving size is one can. Calories, 25. So already in that regard, it is behind banging stuff because those are usually zero calories. So what the heck made it have 25 calories? Uh, zero grams total fat, 170 milligrams of sodium, five grams of total carbohydrate. What? Total sugar is four grams? I thought this was zero sugar. Oh, it's zero grams added sugar. So, I guess it's the juice that adds the sugar. So, you can't say this is a zero sugar drink. Maybe that's why it's not on the front. Maybe that's why. Ooh, they're tricky there. They're being tricky. And zero grams of protein. Ah, uh, man. You guys are being... You're pulling the wool over my eyes on this one. I'd, I had to think about that for a minute. So, you can... <laughs> Man, that is that is clever. All right, even if this tastes terrible, I gotta give that to them that they're adding the the juice instead of sugar. 
so they can make it taste a little. Hopefully, they the the, the execution is better in in this in this uh, line. Um, this one is blueberry pomegranate or pomegranate blue burst or whatever the heck that is. You know, it's going to be blueberry pomegranate. Those two flavors work together. Um, 140 micrograms of vitamin A. I don't know who started adding all this or if there's a new thing that says like, you know, how much instead of just a percentage, but I, I'm digging it. I like it. Uh, 90 milligrams of vitamin C, 16 milligrams of niacin, 1.53 milligrams of vitamin B, 4 milligrams of pantonic acid, and 1.7 milligrams of zinc. It's 100%. So it's not, I mean, 100% of your vitamin C, so that's cool. Uh, and 100% of niacin, so I mean, it's it's still on the weaker side when it comes to B vitamins. So you got to hope that um, it's got something else, right? Otherwise, this is just Kickstarter with a new br color of paint. <laughs> that's basically what this is. I'm I'm already gonna say this outright to you guys. It probably is gonna be Kickstart with a new look. It's just called Rise now. Uh, it is a different flavor, at least pomegranate. I don't think they had a pomegranate one on the um, Kickstart. Anyway, here's the ingredients. We got carbonated water. Let me bring this a little closer for you guys, if you want to read along with me. White grape juice concentrate. Those were like the first two ingredients of Kickstart. Uh, Citric acid, natural flavors, sodium polyphosphate, citrulone, or is that how you say it? Cit citrulline. Citrulline. Okay, that's the um, mental boost stuff. Um, caffeine, azorbic acid, aspartame. Oh. Oh. Aspartame. Gum arabic, potassium sorbate, acylfame potassium. Uh, sucralose, niacinamide, glycerol, ester of rosin, sodium disodium EDTA, calcium pantotate, sucralose, acetate, isobutyrate, zinc sulfate, pyridoxine hydrochloride, blue 1, beta carotene, and red 40. Red 40? Kids off the walls. Not like they didn't need to be off the walls. This is Mountain Dew. Um, it's a very strange combination of colors. What color is this going to be? It's blue and red, so that's like purple. And beta carotene, which is usually like an orangey color. So is it going to be like a really like a royal purple? And the aspartame, that, that, that boils my grits, man. That boils my grits. Um, I hate aspartame. I'm slightly allergic to it, too. I got, I, um... I don't focus too much on it. Aspartame is the stuff that's in sweet and low, I think. It's either equal or sweet and low, but it's not... I can't... I shouldn't be drinking aspartame, but I do. That's that's the stuff you find in diet sodas and stuff. So that's bad. This is, this is already on my bad boy list. So I can't really cover too many of these, otherwise I'll probably get too... I'll get sick. But for you people, I will do it. We're going to open this up. I don't think there was aspartame in the Kickstarters. I don't remember that. Dude, that smell was... It's, it's, it's like voltage color, actually. That's interesting. Why, why bother adding red? I guess... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they do the things they do. It's the, it's the same color as the lion. Smell? Let's have the smell. It smells a little like voltage. If this works as voltage, I'd be all right with that. But voltage with aspartame, mm, I guess it's the closest thing you diet people get to voltage. Yeah, it's kind of got like you know a blueberry scent to it. It's a, it's got that you know tartness. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's not, not, it's not too bad. I don't really smell pomegranate, but I definitely smell blueberry and maybe a little raspberry. Let's have a sip. It's a little more um, fizzly than um, the Kickstarters, because I think those were purposely not carbonated. So it's got a little bubbly taste. Oh, that, oh, that aftertaste. Blah. 
<laughs> we'll get to that. All right, so it's got a fizzly start. It's very sweet in flavor, which is interesting because um, it's not really sugar is in this. There's no like high fructose corn syrup or uh, actual sugar. So the sweetness is very interesting. I'm like, oh, maybe the sucralose is actually working here. Um, then it kind of transitions in the middle part to a um, kind of tart flavor. Not pomegranate, it's more blueberry. They could have called this blueberry blue burst, and no one would have argued with them. Um, maybe there is a hint of pomegranate to it, but I kind of mistook it as a um, raspberry flavor. Not blue raspberry, but red raspberry. It's kind of got that kind of zazz to it. Um, it. It's tart. It's a very tart drink, but it's outweighed by the opening of sweetness like if you thought the opening was too sweet wait till the middle part and then you'll see it's a little bit more tart so you you might be happy with that um the ending part everything kind of just falls off and it's just to fizzly water sort of sweetness and then that aftertaste full on sucralose fake sugar flavor it's it's really not nice um on principle alone it, it, it's close to voltage, but it's not. Like, you pour this, and someone would... If you didn't know what this was, and someone poured this in a bottle, can like, or a cup like I did, and um, you'd be like, Ooh, what happened to voltage? It tastes weird. Is this old? No, it's Mountain Dew Rise. But that that's what it kind of tastes. So if you really like voltage, and you kind of wanted to, it to taste worse, <laughs> go with this. Mm. Yeah, that that fake sugar taste. Oh man, I hate the taste of aspartame. I can kind of tell the difference between sucralose and after aspartame. Um, ugh, it's 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 not nice. It's just use real sugar. Just use it. Nobody cares. It's not like you're losing customers to other companies because you're making. You're making the non-zero sugar energy drink. You're losing customers to other energy drinks because you can't make a good tasting energy drink. Just use high fructose corn syrup or something, man. Make it taste better. That it's it's not good. It's it's not a good drink. It's just not. It's it, it it's got its moments, but you could get a better flavor out of pretty much anything else. I don't know why they keep failing. This this just stop. Just stop. Stick with AMP, or you know what? Just buy something. Buy, buy Bang. Come on, you got money, PepsiCo. Just buy something. You can't. You obviously can't make energy drinks. Is it, this is like your fourth try? Maybe I don't know. I it's the third try that I can think of. I'm sure you've tried other times. It's just it, it's bad. It's bad. I don't see why anyone would want to buy this. Oh, it's got zinc. Okay, S sure. Go take zinc supplements then. Why are you guys subject yourself to this? It's it's just not nice. It's offensive. It's got the fake, fake sugar. And it's got a weak flavor. Like, why would you want anyone want this? I mean, you could... I would almost take Jocko over this. Because at least Jocko is not trying to be like, Oh, we got a good flavor. No. It, I mean, it was straight up. This is, this is uh, very natural. Well, I didn't like the flavor of Jocko because it was natural, but I can at least if I wanted an energy source, I would drink that and, you know, feel miserable for half a second instead of feeling miserable all day because now I've consumed aspartame. Uh, I can't give this anything nice. I'm going to give this like, um, I don't even know. I'm going to give it like roadkill out of rad. It's terrible. <laughs>